Goodness gracious me. Creek Buzz Centre Stage, Adam Collins, Michael Vaughan. It may very well be the greatest finish in the history of Test Cricket. Simple as that. Yeah, I think so. I mean, I, I, I think we've got to try and embed of what we've just seen. I, I, I'm still trying to kind of put into terms and words what has just happened from Ben Stokes' situation. I mean, England overnight had a chance. England within an hour, lose Joe Root, still got a chance. Johnny Bairster just after lunch goes. Joss Butler run out, game over. Yeah. Wokes, caught extra cover, game over. Joffre comes out and gets the crowd going with a few fours, gets caught on the edge, out, gone, game over. Broad on his way, game over. And then all of a sudden, this colossal man, this superman, this chap that does things that not many cricketers in the history of Test Match cricket, in the history of cricket can do. To hit that ball so cleanly, in front of 20 or thousand people on the feet, cheering him on, and Jack Leach to just nugget himself to one that out. I, I can't really put into words, all I can say is, and I know at the time you always kind of big everything up. I don't think I've seen a better test match innings. I honestly don't. In the circumstances, we're in an ashes. England, you know, that, that urn was in the Aussie dressing room. It's on its way back to Australia about an hour and a half ago. They were just packing it in a box saying, we've got that, we've retained it. And then all of a sudden Ben Stokes arrived. I, I've not seen a test match innings like that before. The, the way that he just put his hand up when he made a century is if to say, no, 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 job done. Yeah. Two more sixes in that over. Seven in the final partnership. He added together 76. He made 74 of them. One to Jack Leach. Before we go on more about Stokes, a word for Jack Leach. The amount of times he had to face three or four balls in and over against James Pattinson bowling 92 mile an hour or Nathan Lyon turning it square. Not many number, number 11s have the internal steel for that. <laughs> the amount of times he had to wipe his glasses. <laughs> the old specs had to come over. He had to wipe him. He had to make sure he could see. Uh, he kept his calm. I mean, I've no idea. I mean, batsmen like Ben Stokes have got a huge amount of talent um, and they generally know how to play the pressure card because they've got the gift, they've got the game. I've no idea how a number 11 stays cool knowing that, you know, one mistake, you know, one little pop up and one kind of play across the line and the ashes pretty much are gone. Mm. He played a absolute gem. He, he's just said on, a, on an interview I've just, he said the actual fact Ben Stokes, because Ben Stokes couldn't watch when he was on strike, he was like, please, please, just survive. <laughs> he said it was putting him off because he felt, come on Stokes, you can back me a little bit, don't put your head on your, on your back handle. But, you know, he's a character. Um, what it's done, it, it, it's kept the ashes alive. You know, Test cricket needs this. Test match cricket needs this ashes to go to the Oval. It needs two more games like this. It needs another Ben Stokes kind of masterclass. Let's not forget Ben Stokes' bowling. Yeah. You know, what he delivered. 25 Jack, overs on the bounce. Well, you know, he has won this game single-handedly pretty much. The skipper helped in the second innings. It was good to see Joe Root find some form. Johnny Bairstow played a nice, nice hand today. But, you know, Ben Stokes, you go back to 1981, Beefy had a beard. Ben Stokes, 2019, on the same venue, with a beard. Remarkable. Some of those sixes towards the end, they were landing. I mean, Marnus Labuschagne, right there. Had he been Billy Stanlake or a taller man, maybe he would have pulled it down. Marcus Harris did his best to try and take a catch just over there at third bank. Got to it only barely, but couldn't keep his fingers underneath the ball. A couple of those out towards the Western Terrace, which he just pinpointed exactly where he needed to go. He lapped a six. He reverse swept a six after charging. It was a scarcely believable display of power hitting, finesse and just modern white ball batting transferred into a test match when it's an absolute pressure cooker here. Yeah, I mean, it's extraordinary to think that he was just getting the ball over the ropes. Almost as if he was that good, he knew that he didn't have to hit it in the... He just had to hit it far enough. I mean, the rope's in a little bit from the digital advertising hoarding, but, you know, he's that sweep shot off Josh Hazelwood. I thought when they brought Hazelwood on, I, I was actually in comments, so this might help him because he'll bowl length. It was almost like the one-day scenario. Hazelwood did bowl length and, you know, he got cleaned into the stands a few times. Tim Payne, I feel for, because the captain in that situation, he'll be in that dressing room and he'll be sleeping on it over the next week or so, thinking, why did I review that LBW mm. of Pat Cummins to Jack Leach? You know, you're looking at that LBW Nathan Lyon to Ben Stokes when only a few were required. One review for England, no reviews for Australia. Yeah, you can pinpoint that Australia didn't use their reviews greatly. No idea why no Wilson, uh, Joel Wilson's yeah. finger didn't go up, knowing that England were going to review it, and then you let technology take over. It just added to the drama, that run-out chance. I mean, Nathan Lyon's a magnificent fielder. That's what Ashes pressure does. Ashes pressure makes the best fielders just grab at the ball, a simpler run-out chance that you could possibly hope for, and he just snatched at it, and Jack Leach managed to sneak his back back over the line. So you can't, you can't have any more of a game of cricket. Yeah, you talk about snatching at it. It felt that way last night when they blew their first review trying to get Joe Denley out, a ball that was comfortably missing the leg stump. The second review, 
I can't understand why they would have set that upstairs other than the fact that they were so rattled. Ben Stokes completely threw them off their game. Nathan Lyon, you say, some of the catches and runouts he's executed over the last five years. Lyon's one of the best fielders in the world. He passed Dennis Lilly uh, today as well, it's worth remembering. He's now the, yep. the third most prolific spinner in the history of Australian cricket. So, in well, history of cricket, full stop for Australia in terms of wicket takers. So, there, there's a, I feel for Lyon, uh, you feel for pain to an extent, but what this does do, Michael, as you pointed out before, we go to Manchester in a couple of weeks. Stephen Smith batted in the nets today, he'll be back. Yep. Jimmy Anderson bowled in the nets, he'll be back. We've got a blockbuster, one all. Two days ago, England were all at 67. This is unbelievable. <laughs> yeah, and we had 20 odd thousand here going absolutely nuts. There'll be 28,000 at Old Trafford. Good luck trying to get a ticket for that fourth <laughs> Ashes Test match with Jimmy Anderson bowling from his own end, Steve Smith back. You know, Australia, will they come back for it? They will. You know, they're Australian cricketers, uh, they're tough sports people. You know, they'll, they'll be hurting for a few days, they'll have a game at Derby, and then all of a sudden they'll be back at Old Trafford, knowing if they win one of the last two games, they retain the Ashes. They'll hope to win the Ashes and win the last two games, because I can't see how there'll be draws unless the light plays a part or the weather. Um, and that's what Australia have to think. They have to think, right, we've played some good cricket this week. We've had an individual that's played the most extraordinary. We're all talking potentially of it being the greatest ever Test match in his. When that is played against you, of course you can look at different facets and you can t look at different uh, tactical and, and technical kind of movements of the week that you've had, but when someone plays like that, you have to don the cam and say, well played sir, let's get to Manchester and play to a similar standard. I'm pretty sure if Australia do that, They'll put England under a little bit more pressure, but as we said at Lords, we thought the momentum had swayed all the way to England. It feels like it's gone even more towards England after that innings from Ben Stokes, but Steve Smith back, so there's a few more runs for the Aussies. In 2005, this bloke here played and won the most important Ashes series possibly of all time. Now we're set up for something like it. Who knows? The next couple of weeks are going to be fascinating. Do not miss a moment on Crick Bus Centre Stage. We can't wait for Old Trafford. Adam Collins, Michael Vaughan, we'll catch you there.